we're going to row 122 by the looks of the pictures on row 52 it appears to be a m theory matrix um if you look closely you can see at the you can see the strut bar on the on the vehicle i tried to run the vin that row 52 provided but it's not coming up as anything it says it's an invalid vin so chances are they probably put the wrong one so hopefully it is a m theory and we can score some things out of it uh, mainly looking at the spoiler again it's one of those things i regret selling when i did have the the other spoiler so this is row 110 that's row 110 if we're going up yeah we're going up so 11 i'll catch up with you guys when we get there but actually i may see it Fucking 15. Yeah, I think I see it. I see the hatch, but hopefully we see the spoiler on it. So, and the theory right there. Sorry about the wind. It's actually really cool today. Oh, it looks like someone took the spoiler already. Yeah, I think someone took the spoiler already. It is what it is. Yeah, that's the first thing they go for, the spoiler. But yeah, it was an M theory. Look at that, the strut bar's still here. Is this savable? It might be. Oof. Looks like. Oof. I'm gonna remove it, see if I can do something with it. But. Imagine having those seat covers. <laughs> But the cool thing about it is your disc brake conversion is here, so uh, yeah, I might swoop it actually. Your disc conversion. Um, what else we got in here? I believe these also had M theory specific floor mats. Yeah, they're not here. Yeah, they took off the sticker as well. Yeah, they took off the sticker. There's usually a sticker that goes right here that, that lets you know which M theory you have, the number. But yeah, it's stick shift. It was actually. There's the shift knob. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> But I do see the Celica right here. I think this is what we only saw here last time, so nothing really special in this one. This one's pretty beat up. Nasty. So, um, it being Sunday, I don't really got anywhere to go today. So, oh, there's our CRV with no engine. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a CRV with a B20 so that I can pull the injectors off of it. Ooh, sorry on TC wheels. Got the wheel lock still. Oh, that one's all broken up. You know, it'd be funny one day if I just come into the junkyard and I find a, a freaking Scion TC with the supercharger. That'd be dope. But, nah, this one, this one looks stock. Oh, look, Corolla with some no-name eBay coilovers. Biohazard. Ooh, don't want to go in there. Huh, has eBay coilovers all around. Holy crap. Yeah, no shit, it's a biohazard. God damn, imagine that. Imagine that, dude. Huh, coilovers in the last. Garbage, dude. Those eBay coilovers, garbage. We got Del Zol right there with a body kit, looking hella ugly. So, kind of did it off camera because it's kind of 
annoying to do this at the junkyard but basically I took them off already the rear disc conversion i got the calipers over here i got the strut bar right here strut bar does not look bent at all so we're good the only reason it's not bent is because the, it has these bushings on the ends to kind of give it a little bit of a flex so again this isn't more the strut bar it's more like a dampener because this is what what's underneath here it's a dampener so it could leak eventually but regardless i'm still souping that um got the calipers right there um unfortunately we didn't get the spoiler but it is what it is do we have m3 badges oh they were there someone took them off but it's whatever um i can find i, I see these every other day or not every other day I'll, every now and then at the junkyard so i can still find another one but yeah let's I think I'm done here. I already went to go get my injectors. Um, I've got a set of them from a VTech Accord. So hopefully um, they should be the same because I checked on eBay. They said they were compatible with a uh, 99 Accords. So we're gonna throw those on the B20 and see if the misfire goes away. Until the meantime, I get my refurbished injectors from eBay. But anyways, let's pack up and let's get, get out of here.